Hi guys, I should actually say Asalaamu Alaikum because you're probably watching this if you're going to Umrah or maybe you're just a follower of mine and you like my videos. Please excuse the mess in the background, I know there's a lot but we have been here for a few days. I'm starting this vlog very late because I just kind of wanted to focus on why I've come here so I didn't want any kind of work related things to do but then I thought I just want to document this time and you know like the first time you come to do Umrah it's quite daunting but because I've been a few times I feel like I kind of know what to do etc so I thought it's fine if I vlog basically is what I'm getting at so yeah today we we just prayed Zohar so we've got some time to chill we're probably gonna go and eat now we've been here for a few days we went to the Rosa yesterday night oh my gosh guys <laughs> you have to stand for like an hour and then they like let you in and then women go crazy and they run and they get trampled on and they push and shove but it's just so silly because we all end up in the same place eventually so if you're going to Medina please don't push and shove you'll all end up going to the same place even if you go calmly today where I think we might mama we're gonna go to the museum I hope so so we've also come for a wedding Nika. Nika. Oh, wedding. Yeah, it is a wedding because it's the Valima tomorrow, today. Yeah. So the Nagar was yesterday and the Valima's today. I got the bride ready. <laughs> and yeah, so the Valima is in the evening. So we need to be back before that because we need to get the bride ready for the Valima as well. So hopefully now the plan is, plan of action. Gonna eat, maybe pizza. So a pizza place down there. We're staying in Hilton, Medina, by the way, because I know I'm gonna get questions about that. So right near the Hilton, it's basically near the Shaza Hotel, is a pizza place called Mona Pizzeria. And then after that, we're gonna go get Pinkberry. Mm, love it. And then, oh, they've got lotus flavor here so nice and after that we'll probably pray asar go to the museum and then come back and get get myself ready for the valima get the bride ready for the valima hopefully i can vlog i don't think i'll be able to vlog the valima because the family is a little bit reserved don't think they'd want to be on youtube but my i'll vlog what i can as i always do this backpack is so not my vibe but it's so good <laughs> I yeah, really it's wish. been so handy. Yeah, but I wish I bought my Fendi. I took it out last minute. No, why would you want your Fendi getting trampled on? This bag doesn't get trampled on. Yeah, but still, like, you know, you'd have to put it on the floor and... Mm. I'm gonna make a video after this, inshallah, of, like, things, either tips to do with Umrah or, like, 10 things you didn't know about Umrah. Something that's very useful. So keep an eye out for that. Mum's mom's gonna help with that. She's already been helping. Come on. They know mum. They know mum. So there's all these food places we didn't actually know existed. Um, but they're right next to the mosque. I don't know what gate that is. 25. Near gate 25 if you're interested. And then Gate 22 and 23, you have Hardee's and KFC. This is the pizza place we've come to try. We haven't ever tried it before, so we don't know how good it is. Okay, it looks good, so we're gonna get a vegetarian pizza. Ooh, chips look good. Okay, that's minute. Come on, Mom. Hey, Mommy. Oh, it's so cute. They're so small here. So we saw that cat and we want to give him food. I'm not going to vlog here for long, but we saw a cat and we wanted to give it food and they're saying that it's more expensive because we want to feed a cat and they're saying like you should be feeding people, not cats, but like how do they know how many people were fed or not? And like cats can't ask for food, can they? Humans can. That's quite annoying. So here's the pizza and then we got 
what did he say this was called lemon mint, lemon mint citrus this is the lemon mint breeze i believe from starbucks it's very expensive but yeah hopefully this pizza is good that cat situation just put me in a bad mood because you don't know whether we're feeding humans or not like if we see a cat that wants food that doesn't make us a bad person, person for wanting to feed a cat like i'm sure there's a hadith about feeding a cat or giving a cat water a prostitute gave it and then she was given jannah that's a dog she gave it oh that's a dog okay right so when we were in the hotel dad got some uncle to come and show us some dates and then we placed an order dad is so desi in every single thing that he does but i love it so we got some dates yummers that's going in my date smoothie every day why do i look like an egg this is not right okay Bye. Masjid, a lovely follower of mine sent me a DM saying that you should go and it's really really good so I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of what I've learnt so this is how the masjid started actually I think there's some stages before this but I don't know where they are right here anyway that was one stage and then you can see like at the back that's where the mosque was and then when the direction changed from Masjid al-Aqsa to the Kaaba, they just moved the bit that was at the back to the front. So it just flipped around. How convenient. Then it became bigger and bigger and even bigger and even bigger. And then it became like this. There was a few more between these. And then it looked like this. This was in the 70s. This was before the 70s. They had that pole to show what time it was during the day. I think that dome in the middle was a well in Masjid Nabwi for wudu, if I remember correctly. And the dome used to be silver, but then the Ottomans painted it green. Not even that long ago, I think like 300 years ago. Oh my bad, this is the well. So interesting, highly recommend. And they have some really big models showing Mecca to Medina and stuff. And this one is 90% accurate. So it's from a while ago. It doesn't look like this anymore. That was the castle of the Ottomans, I believe. And yeah, it's crazy how historically correct this is. The beautiful green dome. This, this is how the grave is in Bucky. That's how their dog, so the dog's straight and then a little bit space over there. And that's the graveyard that's like next to the mosque. And anyone who is buried there, I think is like given a place in heaven, something crazy. Wish I could be buried there. Probably not gonna be very likely, but we can wish. And then this is Hazrat Aisha's house. So that's what it used to look like and then when the Prophet ﷺ passed away they dug a grave there and then she still she used to still sleep in the same room and so his grave was there Sallallahu and she used to sleep there and then after a little while they made a partition and then there was also the graves of Hazrat Omar and Hazrat Abu Bakr and it's still like that and some people say there might be another grave was Hazrat Isa Islam, but we're not sure about that but yeah and then whenever Hazrat Aisha used to visit she used to put a hijab on and then visit crazy right 
when Hazrat Abu Bakr saw that the Prophet had passed away, he uncovered his head and he kissed his forehead and he said, you're beautiful in life and in death. So no one can see the graves in the Rolda and there was actually lightning or something happened which damaged the dome and no one had the courage to go and clean up inside except one man. Then he went and he cleaned. So that was so many hundreds of years ago. So there aren't actually any pictures from that time of the Prophet's grave. And this is what the masjid looks like now. And it has a capacity of one million, including the rooftop, which I didn't even know you could pray on. Oh, and here, one of the signs of the Day of Judgment was that volcanoes would erupt in this area and the lava would be so high and would be able to be seen from Syria and that actually happened so that sign of judgment has already been and gone which is so scary happened a few hundred years ago and those volcanoes are now inactive and here is a little model of the Battle of Uhud and that's the cave that the Prophet ﷺ went to when he was injured I think he fell around there there and then the Sahabas took him to rest over there. There was seven, 70 Muslims I believe against 3,000 people and the Muslims won. Here's our suite. This is one bathroom, kitchen area, a suite area, well, no, sitting area. This is where my bed is gonna be, somewhere around here. Oh, maybe I can see the harem from here as well. <gasps> I can. Yay. I'm gonna ask them to go our bed right here. Thank you, Badu, for booking such an amazing room. Mom and Dad. Okay, gonna do Umrah soon, inshallah. So I will see you guys after. I'm